Self-proclaimed president of independent single mothers Esther Rackethy has left her fans talking after dropping bomb advice to fellow ladies in the middle of today's much-hyped Valentine's Day celebrations. Rackethy is known for her savage stands on bedroom matters, love, relationships and marriages. The rich mother of five is ever against women who can't foot their bills without sourcing money from men. According to the controversial lass, women should work, get money and be rich enough to take care of their needs, treat themselves on weekends, pay rent and educating their kids too, that's independence. With today being Valentine's Day, Akathy puts it clear that many married women will be frustrated by their husbands, some will be away and others will show up without those sweet Valentine's flowers. Out of Akathy's experience, Many men will be having some good times with their secret lovers elsewhere instead of treating their wives, until Monday, it's when they'll be back with a long list of excuses. Taking to her Instagram, Akathy captioned and I quote. Today all married women are in the same category with us sing Uche, pick up your life. Imagine if I had to commit suicide for all the men who dumped me, how many times would I have to die? Oh my goodness. Tuna fanana, tuna toshana. The married ones, I know your phones, your husbands are sweet on their phones. <laughs> You always have to ask the single ones, hey, 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 my husband, my husband. Imagine he's not with you and he's not with me. <laughs> right now, what is making me laugh is, there is a woman sitting somewhere in a corner crying over a man. Somebody's son. He, she did not give birth to. Hey, women. Hey, hey. If we don't treat these men abnormally, they will treat us normally, I tell you. It's high time you make your own money. You can always go on a holiday, whether it's there or me. I should sit in a corner waiting for a man. <laughs> me. I should wait for him hmm? to come and organize my life for me, the life I am living. <laughs> There's a woman who is matar. She has not showered. She has not done her hair. She has not done anything for herself, for her God's sake. She is crawling and calling the husband from yesterday. The man's phone is off. Now the man will reappear on Monday with a lot of vocabulary. Baby, I'm sorry. You know, you need to understand. I was arrested of mask. It was curfew and all kinds of shenanigans. So, my dear sister, this is a free advice. Enjoy your life while it lasts. Go grab a drink of your own, the drink that you like, like whatever I'm doing right now. Me, I don't want stress. I know I've felt terrible in relationships. It's okay, it's not working for me. See, if it's working for you, I am happy for you. If it's not working for you, same like it's not working for me, bitch, collect your life and just try to live small, small. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. I know there's so many women who are suffering right now. I know even there are some who are even thinking of committing suicide. So you are committing suicide over somebody else's son. A man that you found with 32 teeth, 32 teeth, say, hey, me, I call them, hmm. The things I've seen on these streets, the men I've seen on these streets, Valentine's come and go. There's Valentine's next year. Anyway, all Valentine's, I'm always on my own. So, well, what am I even talking about? Maybe I'm commenting from a jealousy perspective of life. But the truth is, collect your life, madam. Anyway, call police if you didn't come home. Go and search for him in all the police stations. He will come back on Monday and tell you he was arrested of curfew. <laughs>